As reported last week, we are about to embark on our key issue campaign in conjunction with Shelter, the UK's largest and best known charity of its kind, defending the rights of homeless people for the past 25 years. Sheila McKechnie, director of Shelter, spoke to BSTV about the key issue. By any measure, there's about twice as many homeless people now as there was 10 years ago. I think we have to be very clear what we're talking about. Homeless people are just that, they're people without homes. Not all of them will end up on the street. Everybody who works in the body shop will know somebody that's got a housing problem. It might be somebody who's come to work in a town in a body shop where the housing roundabout is very expensive and they can only afford a grotty bed sit or sharing with somebody. It might be people who are living with their parents. I mean, we know of cases where couples, the man is living with his parents and the woman is living with hers, and they can't actually get together, even though they, they have decided that they're going to settle down. Um, there's lots of people living in hostels, and they don't want to live in hostels. They don't want to share rooms with six, seven, eight other people and be put out in the street at eight o'clock the following morning. We don't always see them. And that's a little bit of a problem. Outside London, people tend to assume there's not a problem, even of people sleeping rough. They don't see them, but they are there. More than half the people sleeping on the streets are actually outside London. However much people want to do something about a problem, they get worried about the cost to them as people. And that is a very big issue in housing because housing can be seen as very expensive. And while people don't want people to be homeless, they don't want their taxes to go up astronomically. Funnily enough, an awful lot can be done in housing without increasing taxation. Homelessness actually costs more than housing. Homeless people having to stay in hospital twice and three times as long because they don't have a home to go to children's education being damaged because they're in temporary accommodation and shifting around schools. We then have to put a lot of money into them when they're older. It costs twice as much to keep a family in bed and breakfast as it would to build a new house. And while there are lots of technical reasons for that, you know, rules to do with things like the public sector borrowing requirement that nobody knows about, we could actually borrow money that would be paid back through people's rents. And it's the stupidity, the inefficiency, the waste of money that's going into housing at the moment, that's going into all the wrong things, that is the most frustrating for all of us. I think the, the key campaign is a really exciting one. In fact, the more things I think about, the more ways you can use it. I mean, key issues, housing is a key issue, the key to the door, you know, the whole symbolism of somebody being 21. And I suppose it's more practical than collecting doll's houses. <laughs> I don't think we could put very many of them in the shops. Um, it's a lovely way to make people think about what home means to them, because a key is a symbol of having your own home. And the importance of the body shop work is that they can get to all kinds, your staff can get to all kinds of people that we can't get to. And Somebody in a shop talking to somebody else about homelessness will in many instances be more effective than me. I mean, people will often tend to respond to me as director of shelter and say, oh, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? That's her job. Whereas somebody just talking to you about it and makes you think, oh, it's just an ordinary problem. It's not something to do with somebody else out there. And that's why I hope all the staff in the body shop will really think about what they can do and how big a part it can play in persuading ordinary people to put housing at the top of their list as a priority for a new government. The last part of our series on the face looks at products for older skin. Aging doesn't necessarily mean fading, so for cleaning, recommend honey beeswax orchid oil cleansing milk, or glycerin and oat. And for moisturizing, there's rich night cream, or chamomile or rose aromatherapy oil.
I've just had a great idea, and fortunately, there's something I can do about it. You see, Dodgy's back. Dodgy is the department of damn good ideas. You seasoned body shop employees will remember it. It's the department that will pitch any idea you have to the appropriate general manager and get you a response to it. The Dodgy department's been quiet for a few months now, so if you've submitted an idea and not gotten a response, that's the reason. But don't be put off. Submit your idea again. And by all means, send Dodgy your new ideas, ideas you come up with anywhere. Send them to Dodgy. If you find a way to make the company more efficient, send it to Dodgy. If you find an idea for how to make the employees of the company happier, send it to Dodgy. If you find yourself frustrated day after day with some sort of problem within the company, find a solution, or even half a solution, and send it to Dodgy. With the demise of the 175 mil bottle, try using the space for deodorants. And also from merchandising, please make sure you insert your updated merchandising manual pages the moment they arrive so they don't get forgotten. And note the updates have details of merchandising 1,000 mil bottles for shops with over 30 bays. These will be available for order from the 1st of March this doesn't apply to every product, so do check ShopLink. thrown away your cardboard bath, don't worry, last week's ShopLink has an alternative, plus a list of other props worth keeping. Green apple bath and shower gel contains real apple juice and ginger root extracts. The smell of apples was thought to relieve melancholy and the smell of ginger perfectly complements the shower gel. The fuzzy peach bath and shower gel contains peach infusion which is moisturizing and soothing on the skin and it really reminds you of warm summer sun. The pink grapefruit bath and shower gel contains grapefruit infusion. Grapefruit is an astringent and also stimulating. This bath and shower gel makes a great wake you up on a Monday morning. The new shower gels perfectly complement the fruit soap range and can double up as a great bubble bath. <laughs>
shops as far apart as Bradford, Maidstone, Ashford, Enfield and Truro have all reported the strange tale of the nail clippings. Customers coming in with bags of nail clippings and demanding ten pines. For some reason they believe the body shop wants nail clippings and is prepared to pay for them. This is not true. So if you get approached, politely decline their little offcuts. Oh, and do ask them where they heard we wanted them. We're all dying to know.